Here in Washington, we have our own volcano threat in the Cascade Mountains, which on average erupts once or twice every century. The threat includes Mount Rainier, which scientists continually monitor for activity. New at 6, Como meteorologist George Waldenberger spoke with a geophysicist about what she's been observing and what the risks are when it does eventually erupt. Back in 1980, Mount St. Helens made a broadcast to the country. Western Washington was one of the lower 48 states' most actively volcanic regions. And today, it stands with Mount Adams, Baker, and Glacier Peak as four active volcanoes in Washington. The fifth, less than 70 miles from Seattle, is Mount Rainier. It's totally at a state of background activity. Um, so we're not worried about Mount Rainier right now. Alex Yetzi's team with a U.S. Geological Survey monitors the Cascades daily. Their infrasound and seismic sensors detect cracks and movements from below. Gas sensors signal changes in volcanic fumes, and GPS sensors monitor ground deformation so that if a big eruption were to occur, it's likely we would be able to see it for months in advance. Such an eruption with certain prevailing winds may be able to bring ash to Seattle. However, a lava flow or mud flow? It's not coming to Seattle. <laughs> okay, but it could hit some of the cities in the foothills. Yeah, one of the main hazards at Rainier, it's less explosive, but it has a lot of glaciers on top of it that can melt and form these really large lahars that can move downstream into areas that a lot of people live in. Lahars, or volcanic mud flows, are very destructive, swallowing everything in their paths. Lahars during Mount St. Helens eruption flowed up to 60 miles, destroying 200 homes. It's a risk with Mount Rainier also, so some foothill communities prepare. There's a Lahar evacuation drill in the areas of Ording and Puyallup, and I think 45,000 people participated this past year. Occasionally, a Lahar can trigger without a volcano, but with a landslide instead. These no-notice Lahars are the reason there are extra sensors on the southwest side of the mountain in the drainage valley. And while Mount Rainier hasn't erupted in a thousand years, this team will be watching for when it shows the signs. George Waldenberger, Como News. The USGS tells George that wind patterns would likely direct any ash from an erupting volcano eastward, whereas the Lahar risk primarily impacts the western slopes of the Cascades.